na gabenta ke khobor ba man ka sni pet bat subscribe ya u antonio katana district council affairs dca hakajingalam uba prastun tan song u mentri kate katana kalalum ya kajingalang ba lapnya da u mentri rang ba kajala u korat ke sangma men ha ka khatsan tarik u jamang arhaza apsau ya kate kajingalang ba lapan long katana dca kalathau ya ka komiti Kabakar pang, kabakli da u chef sekretari, ha kabawan ra ya kencing dala, bat kencing penbet renti ya koru komtrikam, bat kekuat kekia kapla ya rong tika, jauh ke lai teli ki autonomous district council, edisi ka rilum kasi jantia bat garu. U konrad ulaong bakani kencing elang kedai kapla penlong, ban kenjo ya ke lai teli kitong. Ban kimi ya koru kompenya bat ki rules paper paper, ban pen klan ya kapla ya rong tengka, bat ban pen kuat lut ya barok kibel basa teng, bala menjor dah ki lai teli ki ADC. Kini ke komiti kan ai kajing kerjaan bat jing peten nanti ya ki district council, ban pen tikna ba ki rules paper paper kapla tengka, ane ki nong tray lane ki polisi tiat jing tiat, kan don no ha ki kerdan paper paper. U Konrad Uyatho ba ulabu ya ka road map lani kalentiyan bat ka komiti kan sa siyong bisyar ba na kapor sa kapor ya kini kibenta bakit kimi ba bakum no kini kila on penklan ya ka playa rong tingka jongki ADC Ka Sorkar MDA kladap ya keren ya ka jing e kebama da ki ADC ha ka pisa tingka kentup ka jing don kinong tray kum ka nuksa ha Garo Hills Autonomous District Council Kidon kumba khat sans pangut kinong tray, bat sans na manshua kila don hadu arhaja sans pangut kinong tray. Bat ketulop kila jankot asya kasan klo shibnai. Kumjuru ha Jande Hills Autonomous District Council, kadon hapteng khat aspa hadu khat saus pangut kinong tray, bat kiniru kila maat ya kaju kajing e, namaat kajing bun palat kinong tray kat baha ka Kasi Hills Autonomous District Council, kadon tang kumba hadu Pras pak ngot kinong tray. Habaya day bat kiwe bat kikam habaya day bat kesong pisa jongka Katsan Finance Commissions u Konrad uloong bah kidon katu kani kikam kibaha ban pendek bat badang don bun kipisa tanyo na kasong kat pedeng bat kumta don kaman pendek ya kikatu kani kikot isla bat hadin kani yang senang yuk susu ya kasong pisa na kasor kat pedeng kini kideru kikam kibangi layak keren. Harga juga por kasar kar kelaban jor ya ki jinglan kam jonggi lai tali ki autonomous district council ki ba bu jing to ya ka jing le tan rai ban penne pensa ya ka spa very good evening to everyone so uh, today we had a very productive meeting with um, the three autonomous district councils of our state namely the Jenti Hills, Khasi Hills, and uh, Garo Hills Autonomous District Council. And uh, the objective of this uh, meeting was uh, in uh, three different uh, objectives. Uh, first objective was to uh, look at the overall administ administration um, and the different rules, whether financial or HR or procurement policies, and ensure that um, wherever the district councils felt that they needed the support of the government and to work with the government in um, guiding them uh, to ensure that the different rules are in place. Uh, we discussed all those details and uh, we are hopeful that all the district councils will put in their different administrative HR service rules procurement policies, financial policies uh, at different levels in all the district councils at the earliest. So detailed discussion took place and we have formed a special committee uh, which will be headed by the chief secretary and the different district council officials will be members and whatever guidance and whatever support is required will be done to ensure that that objective is met. The second objective was to uh, go into all the bills that are pending in the last many many years for different district councils which are pending for different reasons some uh, at uh, the 
department level, some at the council level, some at the law department level, and some even in the governor's secretariat. And hence, um, we have asked the expert committee, which has been set up under the DCA, uh, who, which will incorporate the different uh, uh, concerned departments and also the uh, district councils, to examine all of these pending bills and find out the reasons why uh, and where they are stuck and uh, work towards ensuring that they uh, reach the logical conclusion that they should. So that's the second objective, which is to ensure that all the pending bills of the district councils are uh, passed and cleared at the earliest. Uh, the third was regarding financial uh, reformation in the different district councils. Uh, in detail, we discussed about the different financial situation and positions that the district councils are facing, uh, the different uh, manpower issues that they're having. Uh, for example, uh, we saw that uh, the Garohols Autonomous District Council has close to 1,500 employees and uh, about five years back they had about 2,500 employees and uh, salaries even uh, exceeding to almost five crores is being paid on a monthly place basis five plus minus i don't have the exact number with me uh, being paid by the district councils in spite of as i said 1,000 employees uh, uh, you know, reduction taking place uh, as a, um, you know in terms of uh, rationalization that took place in the council, district of Garwal district council. And uh, similarly, the Gentil district council, which has approximately about 12 to 1400, I can't remember the exact number of employees. And they're also facing similar hardship uh, because of uh, large manpower. And the uh, Kasi Hills, which has about 800, uh, less than 800 employees. And hence, uh, we looked at all those aspects. We looked at the revenues that they were getting. And we suggested that uh, uh, you know that experts uh, can be engaged to ensure and see how the uh, overall revenues can be augmented and increased in the uh, different district councils uh, at the same time the different um, um, assets that they have the land and different buildings that they have how they could be uh, monetized and maximized in terms of revenue generation for the district councils and also to find other ways in which more revenue can be raised uh, so that kind of financial reforms were discussed and a roadmap was set and again the uh, chief secretary will be heading a committee which will uh, time and again examine this aspect and look into this issue on how to improve the overall financial health of the district councils uh, we also went into the different issues about the 15 finance commission uh, fundings and certain uh, aspects need to be worked on as there are more funds that are available from the center and hence some more paperwork is uh, required once we do that we'll be able to get more funds from the center and uh, those aspects were discussed and uh, the end we also discussed about the overall capacity building of the manpower at the district councils we felt that uh, overall the expertise and the manpower that is there existing in the councils uh, if we can find ways to train the manpower and improve the overall efficiency it would go in the benefit of the council only so those matters were also discussed uh, we also discussed about the different uh, customary practices